Hello everyone, my name is Joshua. I'm Shiley. I'd like to welcome you back to Coffee, Cats, and King, where we'll discuss books, both new and old. I'll share with you pictures of my cats, who will make this one wish they were their cats. Now we'll drink enough coffee for me and everybody watching. Now, today I have a 7-Eleven iced uh, mocha. It's not great, but it was a dollar for this big thing, and it's larger than Shy's head, so I'm okay with that. Uh, Shy is not much of a coffee drinker, so I mean, they are drinking drinker. tea, and uh, they got this awesome mug. It's all right. Hold on. Okay, they got this awesome mug it's yesterday at mm -hmm. uh, what was it? TJ Maxx, yep. Home Goods, one of those. Um, and what kind of tea are you drinking? I'm, um, I'm drinking an English afternoon tea, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland themed. Alright. So, um, here we go. Nice. I like the, I like the tin. It's got them on the sides too. Yeah, yeah, I like the tin it came in. I'm definitely be reusing the tin. Oh yeah. Um, so, this is something that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, <clears throat> I guess I didn't actually introduce, so Shy is my sibling, uh, one of my siblings, um, <clears throat> and probably the closest to me in regards to a lot of things, uh, including the fact that if they had their way, Paige would be theirs, not mine. <laughs> I already am. So, uh, I've been wanting to bring Shy on because, um, uh, you guys know, um, I'd like to be a, an author one of these days. Um, I consider myself a writer. I do a lot of writing. Um, and I, as any writer, have opinions on other people's writing. Shy, meanwhile, is more of an artist. Um, I draw things. They draw uh, both on paper and it, it, you seem more and more to be getting into, uh, I guess would be considered digital art, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I thought it would be fun for us to review a book together um, and something that uh, I could focus more on the writing aspect and they could focus on the artistic side. So I thought what better book for us weirdos to read together than Bree Paulson's Garlic and the Vampire. I'm gonna let you focus here for a second on this, if it will let you focus. There you go. <clears throat> so, essentially this is about garlic, a living clove of garlic, uh, who lives in a little village where all the vegetable, pe vegetable people are alive uh, and they have their place in the village. Well, garlic is sent to be the apprentice to a witch. Uh, and the witch tells garlic about this awful creature known as a vampire uh, that is, you know, sucking the life out of other vegetable people. Uh, but garlic has a special talent for some strange reason that garlic doesn't understand uh, and is for some reason immune to the vampire. I wonder what that's about. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, um... <laughs> I knew as soon as I saw this cover that I had to have this book regardless, but and I got into it and realized that it's more of a, uh, I guess, a graphic novel. So, um, we haven't actually opened this book up to look at it yet. Uh, today is just going to be a quick preliminary. This is going to be a sort of a compilation video um, of us doing this over the course of however long it takes us because uh, we really only see each other on the weekends when we can um, and maybe one other time a week. So it might take us a little time, but uh, we'll get a little bit of it in today, a little bit of it in whenever. Right. Uh, let's do an initial impression, impressions, if you will. Okay. So, um, uh, I mean, the cover's killer. Oh yeah, <laughs> I definitely. think that goes without saying. Um, but uh, let's let's get into see even that just the yeah just the opening there. I mean it's gorgeous, um, beautiful. If that's the kind of thing we're in for, then I'm very excited for this. <laughs> for all the anxious bulbs. All right. Chapter one. There's a little garlic clove. 
I guess like probably it shouldn't show too much of the book. I, I don't know, not. but anyway, we'll just show as we talk. So, okay, well, this is just solidly you. <laughs> it's all picture. I like the the fact that it's just so green. It shows just how well instantly it just brings you into like this small town. Everything's very lively. Mm -hmm. It's a calm scenery with just like the bat flying through the air like you would see birds and Naturally. little water tower. It's, it's a very good setup for the scenery. Mm. Uh, vibrancy to the yes. town, if you will. There you go, that sounds about right. <laughs> I tried to wake you, so it's your fault if you're late today. Yep. Signed, Carrot. <laughs> so initial impressions. <laughs> um, I guess, in case you couldn't tell, I think we're in for a humorous ride here. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> it is immensely funny to me to watch this garlic clove trying to get dressed. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I struggle to get my rather large head <laughs> through my shirts at times, and this is uh, garlic trying to get their head through the shirt up there. Um, wow. What, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you think of this art style? Just it's it's a bat. very unique one. I I definitely like how just how stylized it is. If if you saw somebody trying to draw like this just as a copy, it just probably I I highly doubt it would work nearly as well. It, it's just so very specific in the mm -hmm. way that. It's somehow very chaotic and also very clean at the same time. It's a very hard thing to strike perfectly. I guess I should look to see if Brie just, if it's all Brie. Yeah, yeah, so the story and art are from Brie Lawson. It says the artist used Adobe Photoshop and Procreate to create the digital illustrations for this book. The shadows are really well done. It's yeah. really hard to do shadows sometimes, especially with large sceneries like they mm -hmm. have here. And I mean, the, for me, the it's balance uh, really good. You know, being colorblind, <laughs> a little bit. Difficult. I see. I, well, I mean, I, I I do, but I see a lot of a lot of green. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I can appreciate. You know, this this gives you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't show more than a few buildings, but it gives you the yeah. depth of the woods surrounding them as mm -hmm. well as uh you know potentially the town itself yes so oh and there you go now you get a more open view that really shows mm -hmm. you know this pretty little town it's it's sort of desaturated mm -hmm. and and just has like a few select important things very much pop out i guess it's not it's not so much it's, lively as it is uh it's like it's all done in earthy tones yes you know? So, I mean, which I guess is the point when you <laughs> consider <laughs> when the scene in front of us. Right. Uh, it looks like they're having a little festival or, I guess, a vegetables farmer's version market, of a... Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, a farmer's market, but a vegetables version. So, um, you can see all the little vegetable characters uh, together in town. Looks like a uh, carrot here. <laughs> oh, carrot here has just realized how late... Garlic is, and garlic is realizing how late garlic is. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, this is really interesting. Hmm. That is a person. That is a person. That is not a vegetable person, that is a person. I wonder if that's the witch. Maybe. That would make sense. And maybe Being the witch is. Human maybe, yeah. Oh, what? Hold on. Those are other cloves of garlic, are they not? She's, yep, garlic. she's selling garlic and carrots. Oh the my The carrot gosh. and garlic are selling. Oh, Judas Priest, yes. And garlic. Look, wow, this is a farmer's market, and it's they are in fact, farmer's market. they're selling themselves. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's uh, a cannibal farmer's market. I already love this book. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need some coffee.
Uh, how was your uh, Alice in Wonderland themed tea? It's very good. It's it's very subtle. Very subtle. Yes, but still very flavorful at the same time. Hmm. Very nice. I'm gonna read a few more pages. Yep. Let's see what we're at with this. Jeez, the humor. To be honest, I thought you died. <laughs> Knocked on your door, no answer. Shouted your name, nothing. Tried shaking you awake and you finally muttered something. Mm. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I think I'm starting to understand something here. Hmm. So the witch definitely seems like a part of the town. I, I'm wondering a if... well accepted one. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if the witch is like in charge of this town. Maybe, like a mayor Maybe sort of even figure. she's, you know, she's animated these vegetable people. Hmm. I don't know. That could be... <laughs> Celery. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I, I love it because uh, I think if Celery were in fact They'd be humanoid... They'd exactly be like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Garlic just said, I think Celery's still mad at me. <laughs> and we get glare. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, there are other people. Wow, there are a lot of other there humans. There are a lot of other humans. Hmm. And now the tomato is selling someone tomatoes and said, I definitely recommend those if you're making a sauce. <laughs> this is unexpectedly dark. Yeah. I kind of dig the it. I do too. <laughs> the clothing choices that they that they've drawn are very interesting. They are very much meant to set it in in like a, a just an earlier period. Yeah, yes. an earlier period of time. The puffy sleeves, the coat jackets, everything uh -huh. like that. Witch yep. is doing her witch magic. Everyone else has got witch work, magic. and witch is just waving her hand around. <laughs> All her cart and stuff go away. Now she's kicking. And garlic, <laughs> garlic accidentally dropped a garlic clove and kicked it under the <laughs> table. And again, I'm just wondering. Oh, <sighs> oh, oh. Celery is not happy. <laughs> she, <laughs> mm. she made celery mad again. Okay. <laughs> Why is garlic so sleepy? <laughs> What is this potato realizing about that? I think it's because it's smoking, perhaps. And that was the end of chapter one. That's okay. The end of chapter one. Oh, let's well, see. Chapter one started with this little garlic clove sitting there. Now it's chapter two. It's been buried. Mm. And there's something coming out. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's end this part here. Okay. Uh, we've gone through the first chapter. I don't have a bookmark ready for us yet, but I'll get one. We've gone through the first chapter, it was the first 24 pages. Um, yeah, so uh, initial thoughts, uh, story-wise... Uh, A lot darker than it's been. Yes, yes. Uh, very humorous, but very much dark humor. Mm -hmm. um, My favorite. And I like just how much is open right now for interpretation. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. we were already, already pondering upon how the witch might work into this yeah and, uh, she seems it almost seems like the 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 vegetable people are more like a they're they seem less common than humans just from the opening mm -hmm. scroll i i yeah i think it must be that the the witch brought them back to life yeah. or, or something like that. I, I question if she's using them uh, kind of in the same role as uh, like a golem. Yeah. You know? Um, they're just animated to do her bidding and uh, that's it from there. Because uh, uh, clearly they've somehow been... In their minds it is okay that they are selling yeah. themselves. It's completely normal. <laughs> I guess. No one seems Average. perturbed by the tomato being like, hey, this one will make a really good marinara <laughs> sauce. Trust me. I had some last night. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I, uh, there's something yeah. slightly... <laughs> I miss about that. Yeah, so I'm digging it. Um, I, I like the art style. I think it's really cool. 
it's definitely a very unique art style. Mm -hmm. It is very, very nice. Um, I find it very interesting how they draw the size differences mm -hmm. between not only the regular vegetables, but the anthropomorphic mm -hmm. vegetables and the people. Yeah, yeah. There's and then a very that, clear size yeah. scale there. There's, there's a section where uh, garlic is running through, has a bundle of garlic yeah. on her back, and then a human walks up, and you can see like the human's leg. Yeah. Is the size of garlic, but then the garlic cloves are regular sized garlic cloves. Right. So I, I guess I'm putting them somewhere in the realm of uh, like a large dog. Yeah, yeah, maybe dog sized. Yeah. So I don't know. Which is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like I said I have no idea where this is gonna go now. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little more lighthearted, <laughs> but I'm starting to second guess that. So. Well, to be fair, you're the one who picked out this book, this so... This is true, yes. Yes. Mm. Um, I think the other one that I have for us to do in the future uh, maybe is... Well, again, I thought it was more lighthearted, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this one goes first, but we're going to wrap it up here uh, for today, and uh, we'll be getting back with the next one. <laughs> uh, maybe do a little more filming, see how the next few chapters go, but... Uh, thank you for joining me today, Shy. Thank you for having me. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Drink great coffee. And tea. And tea, yes. Tea is delicious as well. Uh, spend time with your loved ones or just the people that are, you know, family. Wow. And we'll see you later. This is where we cheers with the camera. Cheers. Cheers.